It is February the 8th, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec Site. Had a little bit of a breezy day today. Uh, work site was a little bit choppy, straight out of the northeast. And when we got around to the ship today, it uh, didn't look like much had happened since the last time we were there. Uh, we could see that the the block was still on the deck of the VB-10,000 uh, that was on the inshore side, and the offshore block didn't look like it had uh, been moved. Uh, the chain still kind of dangling down and going down towards the ship. That's not to say that they haven't been doing much. Uh, we know that they're talking about changing the wire on this uh, this cable system, and if they're going to do that, that's going to be quite the project. Uh, you can imagine there is quite a bit of wire in those blocks. We kind of circled the block on the deck of the VB here uh, just to point it out to folks uh, of its location on, on board and uh, still waiting to see what happens. We did see some personnel up on top of the gantry uh, working in the area of those uh, drums, those winch drums. Um, it's going to be a task to uh, get that uh, cable uh, back onto those drums, uh, you can imagine that there is uh, many hundreds, if not a thousand or so feet of cable on one of those drums. A massive, massive uh, system on board the VB-10,000. Not sure the, the exact capacity, but you can imagine uh, that cable is uh, either or a six or an eight part, it looks like, on those blocks. So it's that length back through the block uh, six or eight times, plus what's on the uh, drum. Uh, so you can see that those those guys are, are going to have uh, quite the task to get that cable uh, replaced on that system. Well, once we got around to the other side of the ship, the unloading process of the cars was ongoing. And we got some video and some pretty good still shots of this. Uh, we've got to apologize for the video. Again, uh, trying to set up where we had to, it was rough. The uh, camera didn't quite want to cooperate in that choppy water. We did the best for what we got, and we're gonna bring that to you now. We could see the machine was working in there, reaching into the uh, hull of the ship and pulling out the cars uh, I think this is the second load that they got off. Um, we saw this thing working. It, it had cars uh, grabbed as it was putting them on the deck. I think they're getting a little over 20, maybe 25 or so vehicles uh, on, the, on the barge at a time and hauling those back in the port. Uh, we look at some of these cars, we can see that the ones that were, were down below the waterline are just totally encrusted in barnacles and sea growth and that kind of thing. Well, we got some video. This is the video we have of the um, of the machine working. Again, um, I apologize. The uh, water condition made it difficult to really get uh, a steady, a real, real good locked in shot of this thing. But you can see it working in there. And it's reaching into the ship as far as it can and uh, pulling these pieces out. Uh, we listen to them. The guys are kind of coordinating this on the VHF radio. And we, we listened to a little bit of that today. And it's, you know, the, the, the operator is running it. He is uh, listening to spotters that are they're kind of helping him around the blind spots, reaching in and grabbing these, these vehicles and then pulling them out and placing them on the barge and getting them ready. Uh, for transport back into port. Yeah, it's It looks like it's a little bit of a tedious job in doing that. Uh, again, they've, they've probably gotten 50 vehicles off the ship so far like this um, in, the, in the first day that they've been doing it or so. Um, yeah, I mean, they're making pretty good headway with it. But there is a lot of things. You, as you can imagine, some of those decks have been torn loose in the cutting process when the bow was sheared off. Uh, those are hazards, and the guys are trying to work around those those pieces uh, uh, without uh, shaking them loose and uh, having the, having that deck fall. 
Um, so there, there are there are some hazards involved with it. Um, that's obvious, and it looked like the guys were were, were uh, very safety conscious and in that execution of that uh, operation day and getting those sh getting those uh, cars out of the ship. Now we don't know the exact reach on this machine. We're we're estimating it's somewhere between. Uh, 60 maybe 70 feet uh, so it's not going to be able to get back and you also got to got to imagine that it's on the barge and the barge is is off the uh, the bow of the ship so they're really limited on just how far they can get in there and uh, of course once the next step is going to be after they get these out is is how do they continue to get those those vehicles that are uh, on in into the uh, bow section and get them pulled out. I'm sure that they have uh, some ideas. We can see that they have an aerial man lift on board the barge as well as that crane that's there. And we know that in the past we did see them take some of those uh, vehicles down off those first sections that were kind of hanging out using the crane. They were going in and attaching uh, the crane to uh, those cars off of a man lift and then having the the, uh, the crane pull it out that presents its own problem as they get farther and farther into the ship it's going to be interesting to see how they work around that but uh, so far they're making pretty good headway getting those vehicles out Now we're going to continue to monitor uh, this uh, removal of the vehicles from the ship as it happens and also uh, the repairs that go on um, all over the VB-10,000 as far as getting the, the cable replaced and hopefully get the guys back in the business cutting. Uh, may try to get over to the Port of Brunswick and just check out some things over there. Well, hey, that's about all we've got for today. Uh, we ask... If you're watching the videos and haven't done it yet, please hit that subscribe button. Just recently hit 2,300 subscribers, and we'd like to thank everybody that, that has subscribed. And then uh, send us some comments. We like to get the comments, and we'll jump on there and uh, get back with you on those. And uh, most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.